<laughs> yeah, I mean, I've seen this thing three co three different colors. I think uh, uh, blue is yellow. I thought it was red. I well. think it was like a maroon red. Uh, it was black a couple times. Yeah. So it's crazy so with all, all the those articles. All colors were underneath. Yeah. So it was never. They never stripped it. It was never really properly. No, no, unless they were doing repair somewhere specific where they took it down to bare metal and they filled it with lead. There was a lot of lead in here. Um, but there was also, as the years went on, you could see they started doing Bondo work. And the Bondo on this thing was insane. It was so thick, you know? Yeah, now we've put a lot of Bondo on it, but ours is a super, super thin layer. In, in no one place is it over like an eighth of an inch. It's not even over a sixteenth of an inch. Put this just to see that I'm done here and I don't have what to. Is, what is that? Uh, self itch primer. I want to take it out just to see, you know, my lines, everything is there now. See? Ready for a primer. Yeah, we're there. This side is done. Nice gap in the front end. Hold with the tab is done. Just need to block this fender. Because if you see here, it's flat, right? Like I was explaining it to you, and this is wider. Right here is wider. So the fender goes like this, out, and then it has a shape like that. So No, I know. It looks so simple, but there's so many different contours. You yeah. got, you like got this. this. You got this. Yeah. You got, you know, the whole that all of that going down the line. Yeah, we did the body were outside the beginning the first time, but when you put it on, it changed everything with the yeah. fenders on. So we have those three little spots, and uh, Mike is doing the uh, uh, how you call those things? The little spacers. The spacers. Yeah. And that's the big deal. And the other panel, I have to finish and. Primer, take it out, lock it. Comparison to like, so you took out all of the lead base that you could within reason. I mean, a lot of it, yeah. Tiny little bits that yeah. you felt were And then we hammered and dolly the dent out and made it just all nice metal. Now, did you sand off too much of the filler? Because why are you adding more to this piece if you just sanded it all off? Right here is the curve that has. It's a. Uh, when I add the the, van, the filler in the first in the beginning, I don't add it all the way to the bottom. Okay. So now I'm uh, and right here they had a, a high spots that I lower it down right now. So I have to make sure it looks a lot that I'm putting right now, but it's it's nothing. Yeah, I took almost all the one that I was on top. Not right here in the bottom. There is probably 75% uh, less filler on this car, whether it be lead or Bondo, than there was. And because it's 70% less, is that does that mean that there's more uh, metal? More metal, yes. You got, this is like a more metal car. Gotcha. So if someone ever had to do any repairs or if they did something to a fender, you wouldn't have to remove 50 layers of, you know what I'm saying? Why are you laughing? Because I want to make a joke. Like, oh, Go I'm ahead. not, if, if you're going to offend her, then can I offend her too? <laughs> I know. We have this gap that right now we are trying to pull it, but it's not good. We have to let it go. And we don't need body work here, so. So that type of thing, how would you fix that? Either add more metal, add some we other kind of bond, add... or is it going to be uh, like just like trying to bolt it closer together? No, it's questions? already Basically. bolted, but he's forcing the gotcha. fender. And it'll go. It's different when you have it in metal and you bend it into place than when you put bondo on it. You know, I hate saying bondo, but filler. Yeah. 
because the filler will crack if you continue to do that. Mm -hmm. So what crack he's saying up. is we should just run another bead along there, grind it, body work it again, now so how, that it's in place. I mean, is it safe to say that your answer is just because it happens or because this fit before? Like th those were closer yeah, together. Yeah, but it fit uh. in metal. And it's and you've, different. You've, you've added, yeah. because you've added the, the, added filler, the filler and whatever, and it adds a tiny yes. little, like, just those tiny little spaces. Yeah, all well, the primer, everything, uh, more uh, coats do you put, coats uh, yes. change. So, so there this, is not a big detail, but it's all the detail that we have to put all to together, you know, and check everything before we do And because it doesn't happen, it doesn't necessarily happen on every piece. No, it doesn't That's why you don't piece. add extra metal on every single thing because yes. you don't know where that's going to happen. Is that -ish? Yeah. And, and, I, so and I know it sounds like a, a lot to, to pull it and you go, oh my God, you've welded on this thing so much, but something like that doesn't, that doesn't take that long. I want to shoot primer tonight, today. Well, tomorrow, block it one more time with 320. It's going to be ready. We're going to start taking everything apart. Check these uh, gaps to know the problems that we have. And for sure, this weekend, is, we, with this week, uh, Thursday, we're going to start painting some. Woohoo! Yeah. I mean, now I, I can say it. Now I can <laughs> say it because now I know where I am. So it's hard way you don't know, you know, to... When I start putting all the fenders, the running boards together, that's where I start finding out that we have some issues, but not a big deal. But every time you put stuff together, you start seeing little problems here and there. I mean, we are good in the back. You know, the trunk fits pretty nice in the beginning, so not because I did it, but. These little gaps right here, we have to check that they are okay. People, they're gonna start seeing the, this week, the car painted, painting. Very exciting. Yeah, I'm excited too, you know, I wanna, I already wanna start painting. But it's gonna look so good in purple. In purple? Yeah. 